Ow. All right, this video, we're gonna be working on the 84Z. Like I said in the intro video to the channel, my aunt had got this car brand new in 84. She hasn't been driving it recently, so decided that I could have the car because I already have that Camaro and she knew I'll do something with it. So it has a five liter HO in it, five speed manual. The issue I'm having right now is when I first got this car, I started up, I could drive around fine for months and months and months. And then a uh, month and a half ago, I guess maybe it was in November, I went to start up one day on a cold morning, fired the car up. It ran for about half a second and then just shut down. It shut down like, almost like you just turned the key off. There's no stuttering or anything like that. It just kind of shut straight down. I thought, okay, it's not getting spark. So I changed the coil, didn't fix it. I changed the ignition control module, didn't fix it. I have went through kind of a bunch of other things. I did the cap and rotor, give it a little bit of a tune up. Still the same kind of issue happening then. At the same time this had happened, the, the key itself had gotten kind of spongy and hard to turn. So, I, okay, maybe I can be related. So I went and changed the ignition control module and when I was in there and I had the, the, uh, the steering wheel apart and pulled out, I noticed that the can't really see it in here, but the little steering lock inside there was retracted and wouldn't come out. And I had to kind of tap on with a screwdriver and start coming out like someone who was constipated, finally forcing the turret out. It was coming out that slowly. So I fixed that, got that all fixed. That didn't change, fixed the, the problem I'm having now. Um, the choke was setting, doing all this stuff that it's supposed to do. Oh yeah, let me back up a minute. This car has the electronic quadra junk so it's the worst of both worlds being that it's carbureted and computer controlled so trying to track down a the problem to any the solution to any of these problems is a bit difficult so i'm just trying to run down through stuff i'm not really getting any any answers or progress as to how i'm trying to fix this but the last time <clears throat> i Started it up, it kept wanting to die, but I tried to drive around to see if I could do anything, and I got around the neighborhood and it stalled out four times. But I was able to start it back up and get into the back in the garage. And when I got back, I checked the the codes, and it threw a two codes, it threw uh, the oxygen sensor circuit open, and then a reading knock sensor. When I went and researched that online, some people have an issue, not necessarily on this car, but any OBD1 car, is that could mean that the ECM is bad. So, pulled out the stock ECM there, and I got a replacement one off of eBay for like 10 bucks. So I'm just gonna switch the prom out of this one into here. And as opposed to paying you like 100 bucks or whatever to get one from AutoZone or where else, I figure, for 10 bucks, I can swap these over and see, and the likelihood of both of these being bad should be pretty low. So I'm just gonna swap, swap over to prom, plug this back in, hook up the battery, and start up and let's see what it does. And the only thing consistent about this car with this issue is that every time I disconnect the battery and let it sit for a few days, it'll start up and it'll run just fine the entire time the car is idling until I have to shut the car off itself. And then I'll let it cool down for a while and I'll try and start up later and I'll be back to the stalling out issue. So right now, I'm assuming that when I put this new computer in and hook up the battery, it'll start up and run good, at least the first time, and then I'll turn it off and I'll come back later and we'll check and see. So let me get this camera position. I'll switch these problems over really quick and then we'll start it up.
guess a needle gas and a carburetor. I don't know how promising this is right now. We'll see. If it works or not, we'll find out either way. Well, as you can see, that did not solve the problem, so back to the drawing board. If you have any suggestions or ideas what this may be, let me know. Because I'm, uh, this is not going to be the engine I'm keeping for this thing. I actually have an idea if I can pull it off, it will be not the very most street friendly thing, but it'll be very fitting of the Z28 name. But until then, I would like to drive the car. So, uh, I may do one more thing and try and replace the choke on here, but after that, if I do anything, it'd just be ripping off that quadrant, ripping out the computer, and just putting in a standard carburetor. So uh, yeah, if you have any ideas what this may, could possibly be, let me know. All right, see you next time. Okay, so next day, I'm going to try and start it up and see if there's any change from the way it is. I already ordered a new choke thermostat to see if that may fix the issue if it's running still incorrectly today. I have a feeling it's going to be and then we'll just go from there. Gotta love squeaky V-belts. So we'll let it idle. I'm assuming it's gonna probably stall out here in a little bit. As anticipated, it still cut itself off. So I got that new choke thermostat coming. Probably won't fix it. And then I uh, just don't know what I'm gonna do. So if you guys out there have ever had an issue like this and can share some insight on it, leave me a comment, because I'm uh, drawing a blank here. See you next time.